be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and I'm back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and make sure you comment on this video, like the video, and most important, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Hit those bell notifications so you know I'm going to post. Now, let's go ahead and jump into what we're going to be covering today. Um, have you ever been mixing your beats or mixing your music and you had the perfect EQ on, say, a drum track or, a, you know, a melody track. You also have the perfect plug in combination. If you have ever liked to be able to bring that up, I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can save presets, make your own presets and bring them back up. OK, so let's just kind of go through this beat. I'm just going to let you hear it real quick. So that's the basis of the beat. But let's just say like, you know, I really like this 808, what I have going on here. I kind of turned off some of the uh, presets. Let's listen to it again. All right, so let's just say I really like this. If I want to save this as a preset that I can bring up, it will have all of my different effects on it, my EQ, um, you know, whatever distortion effects or anything like that. The, what I'll do is go up here to the top. I've already saved it as you can see, but I'll just go over here and say, save channel strip settings as, okay. I'll come over here. I'll name it. I'll just go ahead and say 808 save. And as, the, as you can see, I already created this, but it, would, it, would, it wouldn't ask you this, obviously, from scratch. But, you know, you just go in here and push replace. Or save, excuse me. And that's all you have to do. You could do this for multiple different instruments. You could do this for multiple different things. So let's just say that you are doing a new track. You're like, OK, I want to bring up my 808. Um, you know what I'm saying? We have a new track. All right. Now, if you want to bring up those same settings, those same EQ, you know, compression settings, different things like that, you'll go over here up to the top settings. And everything that you saved will be right down here. So say if this is an 808 track, all I have to do is just click right here. And then I have all of my different um, plugins right here. This is also valid for, say, like your master bus. OK, so say if you. You know for sure like every beat or every song or every track that you put the same plugins on a certain instrument or a certain on the master bus like for instance i always put this additive limiter on here um i just bring the ceiling down to either negative 2.2 db or negative 0.1 really negative 0.1 but sometimes the beat hits too hard and i put in a negative uh 0.2 i have if say if i have these settings that i want to pull up on every track that i do right I have this little SSL um, 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 solid state um, master plugin. And let's say I want to pull this up every single time and I don't want to have to go into my plugins, reset up everything. Same rules apply. I would just go over here to the top. Again, this normally wouldn't be here like this, but I'll go up here to the top and I'll go to save channel strip settings as name it and then bring it up. And say if I wanted to do, you know, just a new track, I want to bring that up. I'll just go back over here and it's going to be under user channel strip settings. OK, you can save as many or as less as you want. I just have one. I call mine beat master. And so every time I bring up my beat, I just pull that up and there you go. OK, um, the cool thing, again, you can put this on anything. You can put it on audio tracks. You can put it on instrument tracks. You could, you know, put it on, you know, even my tag right here. So say if I wanted to. I'll go ahead and create like a, a preset for this tag, right? This is my beat tag, one of them, you know, so this is how it sounds. Let's say I wanted to take, take out some of the lows here. Never 
Let's say I wanted to add a little uh, reverb here. Let's say I also wanted to add a little spice, yeah, little, maybe a little bit of a uh, delay, right? Let me see here. Let's see where was a good delay. Mm. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, there you go. Let's say I wanted to add this delay on it. Boom. Bring that down like right there. And uh, there we go. Alright, so this is my preset. This is something I want to bring up every single time for every single time I put my tag on here. Basically, I'll go over here to the top where it says settings. Save uh, channel strip setting as. J tag. It's gonna gonna go into this folder. You can also come over here and put it different places, but I recommend just keep it wherever it's naturally saving it. Keep it right there. You know what I'm saying? But you can, oops, you can put it wherever you want. Bring that back up. Okay, and then now anytime I want to bring up this uh this Eva J tag setting, you know what I mean? It, I can pull it right up anytime. Same thing with this one or anything like that. But that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to show y'all that y'all could do this with anything. You can even do it with audio tracks as well. You know, saying say if you um mix vocals. You feel me? This this could be another great way to save some time when if you're mixing vocals. Say you have an EQ, you have a deesser on there, you have a you know compressor. Add all your effects on there, and then you know you could save one for for male vocals. You could save one for female vocals. You could save one for like um, auditory or speaking vocals. You see what I'm saying? Like it just saves time when you have presets. So just want to preach that to you. Want to go ahead and and encourage you to do this. If you like the video again, go ahead and send me a comment. Go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe too, bro, because we're coming back to back with videos like this all the time. Uh, I try to post at least one a day, but I, I just definitely say weekly. We post every week for sure. So anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and we're out.